Hey everybody, Sam back once again and it's now time to do the video that a lot of people keep asking me to do. This is a what's on my Android device. Um, obviously there's a lot of people that do what's on my iPhone, what's on my iPad. I'm also going to do an iPad one in the future. Obviously I don't have an iPhone, but I do rock Android. So, I'm just going to show you what's on my device. Um, and then I'll go, you know, I'll just give you a quick look what's on there. If you like these kind of videos, I'll then do a video update, you know, showing you, you know, each application. And I can do some reviews for you if you want me to do some reviews. We can have a look down that way. Anyway, let's jump into the applications. So I'm just going to zoom in really quick at the top here. And I'll move the device in and out. So I've got ad free. Now, if you don't know what ad free is, basically you need a rooted device to do this. And it basically means that when you're browsing the internet and stuff like that, you don't get loads of app, app, you know, ads popping up all over the place. Very cool application, definitely needed for every rooted device. AdSense dashboard. Now, everyone that's a maybe a YouTube partner or runs a website or an AdSense, this is a godsend. Basically, it updates as to what your revenue is, etc. And, you know, and a Basically, you can refresh it every minute, every hour, or whatever you want to do. Plus, you can see statistics, how many people are watching you, all that kind of good stuff. That's a definite a must. AirDroid. Basically, what that does is it creates its own little virtual kind of, um, how can I say, like, kind of little hotspot. Um, and then what you can do is you can actually log on via a web browser, so via Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, whatever you're rocking. You can log into the phone and actually, you know, sw you know transfer files wirelessly via Wi-Fi. Um, it's a cool application. You can do a lot more with it as well. Um, you can, you know, read text messages and etc. Amazon apps, you know, Amazon Store, basically you know, for buying stuff on Amazon. <laughs> nice and easy. We've then got Audio Manager. In there, you can basically just customize stuff. Um, you know, actually change kind of, you know, change actual profiles and whatnot. If anyone's got that, they actually know where it does. Wink, wink. Um, obviously, beautiful widgets. Awesome application. It's what I use on the front of my device here. So everyone that keeps asking in terms of what you know what clock I'm running, I always run, run beautiful widgets on my on my devices. Absolutely love them. Calculator, obviously come stock stand on the phone. I like having it there just in case I want to use it. Camera, again relative straightforward, we all know what that is. Chrome, I don't use this as my default browser, I do use the default browser that comes with the phone, uh, which I've hidden on here obviously. Uh, but basically Chrome, I have it on there because I like to see how it's performing and every time they update it gets better and better. Eventually that's probably going to be my default one, but for now I am rocking the, the stock browser. Chrome to phone, awesome application. If you've got, if you use Chrome on your desktop, install a, the plugin on the desktop, install it here as well. And then you've got like a little button on your, de on your actual um, browser you know, on your desktop, you tap that browser and that little, you click that little button on your browser and it sends a link directly to your phone. If you want to see some kind of review on that or, you know, a demo of that, you know, leave me a comment down below, I'll be sure to do that. Cineworld, it's a cinema I've got unlimited card to, so I check out my local, you know, cinema listings. Coindoza, it's kind of one that I got hooked on when I had, when I had an iPhone and I use it on my iPad. So much fun. If you like your little slot machines, you know, um, you know, little 2P machines and 10P machines in the arcades, that is so much fun. Definitely recommend it. Cover art downloader, pretty much where it says it is. You know, I've got a lot of music on your device. You want to get all the actual, you know, proper cover albums for you know, actual album covers for all of them. So when you play in your music player, you see the actual album art. Definitely pick that up. It's free in the, the actual marketplace. Currency, xe.com. Basically, if you're doing, you know, you know, currency, you know, basically, you know, changing currency on, on the actual fly. Deal Extreme, um, anyone that's been off, probably been on the internet for quite a while knows what Deal Extreme is. You know, they sell a lot of cool products at very cheap prices. Um, definitely check out, just uh, I think it's dx.com as well now. Download all files. You know, um, some files you do have problems with downloading an Android device, such as zips. Sometimes they don't download. Certain devices won't allow them. Have this bad boy that you download anything from anywhere. Downloads, basically, um, if you download something on your device, you click in there, it shows you what you've downloaded. Google Drive, God sent to a lot of people, you get five gigabytes of free online storage. I don't use it that much, I use it, you know, as a, like a secondary backup. You know, five gigabytes is great, it's nice and free, but you know, it's not something I use on a regular basis. I use this bad boy here next door, which is Dropbox. Why do I use Dropbox? Um, mainly for the reason now is I've got like 75 gigabytes of free storage. I've got 50 gigabytes with my Galaxy S3 and 25 with my HTC One X. Plus, I already had like three and three gig or something as well. I've got about 78, 79, 78 gigabytes on there or something like that. I'm never going to use that much, but I prefer Dropbox and you can do instant uploads, which I think is a cool idea. Google Drive, they've obviously they're very similar. I just prefer the way Dropbox works. You know, Google Drive needs more integration with Android. It's probably going to come in the future, you know, and hopefully that's going to, you know, get better. eBay, 
we all know what eBay is, you know, the mobile application, you know, I use that on a regular basis if I'm looking to see, you know, get any cheap products in, you know, any cheap cases for you guys to do reviews on. Let's jump to the next page, we've got Evernote, if you've not seen what Evernote is, basically Evernote, you can sync it across multiple, devi multiple devices, um, you can create a notes, app, like, you know, a little note, um, and basically edit it somewhere else, so if you do it on here, then send it off somewhere, it's basically a notes application, but it's probably the easiest and smoothest I've ever used. Well, I definitely recommend picking up Evernote, and again, it's a free application. Facebook, we all go on Facebook now and again. Some of us may, you know, say we don't, but pretty much, you know, we all go on Facebook. I go on there, check out my Facebook page, you know, see if anyone's commented on, you know, my Facebook, um, the like page, the fan page, whatever you want to call it. Flipboard, which obviously was originally for the Galaxy S3 and exclusive, you can now get it free in the Android Marketplace. And basically, what that is, it's kind of an aggregator. Um, it aggregates all your different applications, uh, all the different news feeds, so Android, Apple, whatever it might be, sports, and it's on like you know, cool Flipboard. Again, if you want to show do reviews on individual ones of these, leave me comments down below and I'll be sure to do it. FM radio, pretty much standard where it says it is, it's a proper FM radio built into the actual device. You do need to use some headsets to use as the antenna, but obviously it's there. Foursquare, I don't use it as much as I should do, um, I've started using it a bit more recently. Basically, Foursquare, you probably all know where it is anyway. With Foursquare, you can basically log into, you know, site, you know, kind of check into places, say I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm there, everywhere. You earn little points for it, some places offer you discounts. Cool, you know, cool application, go check it out. Franco Kernel Updater, again, not really useful to a lot of, you know, probably a lot of people watching these videos. You need a rooted device, and you need a certain device for this. So if you use this, at the moment you have to have a Galaxy S3 or a Galaxy Nexus. And um, Franco's Kernel Updater, basically he's a developer called Franco. He creates an Android kernel, you know, for certain devices. There's one for the Galaxy Note as well, which is another application, a separate application in this one. And basically in there you can update your kernel to the newest one, do modifications, overclock your device, underclock your device, change certain values to undervolt it, etc. Definitely pick it up if you're in a Galaxy S3 and you go you you use it wanting to use a you know a custom kernel, again it needs to be rooted, download you know Franco's kernel update. It's very, very cheap, it's about two dollars, about one pound thirty or something like that at the moment. Definitely recommend it, you know, supporting an awesome dev.